Hello guys, Northern Lights here. Uh, I hope you are having a lovely day. Um, so, a couple readings back. Uh, it, I can't remember. I can't remember which one it was, but I said that there was more messages coming out about this yin yanger black white rose connection. Okay, its spirit is still not letting me. Okay, here's. Here's what else was had come out, and it just, after I closed out a reading, it just keeps going, and so um, I feel like I just want to just go ahead and just get this message out, and that way I can continue on with my life. <laughs> okay, so remember, this person wants to come show you their pearl, right? Okay. So, what spurred this was when I was putting cards away, this one showed its face. The vision. Very mirrory energy right here. The two great white owls. There you guys are. And here's your ace of pentacles. This is like the world right here. Or the, oh, I just heard Wheel of Fortune. This is the Wheel of Fortune. This is the karmic wheel right here. And inside here is our world. The key is, is to keep your world centered while all these changes occur with the karmic wheel. Just let it spin around you. Stay centered. Um, I'm sure it'll come up and I'll mention it, but some world um, Wheel of Fortune cards have a world in the middle of their card on the wheel. And there's a reason for that. And the reason why is because our world has to be centered while everything else is doing its ups and downs and the wheel is spinning around it. Here's the two counterparts. Unions. And if you look close here, this is a mountain. And when I saw this, I knew that there was a mountain card in this deck. So I went ahead and pulled it out. These are these mountains, these challenges. And <clears throat> I pulled this card out and I heard, I'm the man in the box. That looks like a fiery pit right there. And then there's this. Okay, so I pulled out the forest card. There's a gem right here. And the closest thing that I could find that resembled this darkness with the light right here was this card right here. The vessel. A pearl. This looks like this looks like getting vulnerable with self doing those deep dives and bringing those pearls this is a this is inside of your pearls are your deepest darkest most vulnerable emotions that have been stuffed down and buried that's what we bring to the surface inside the pearl is us our true selves our traumas things we're scared of things that we haven't healed that's us inside each of those pearls. And that's what this is. It's a vessel. A light. This man in this box is looking at the... He sees it. He sees it. The forest. Okay, he's being drawn to the light. He's... <laughs> Okay, he's been climbing mountains, okay? And we've talked a lot about climbing our mountains. But there's something, okay? <clears throat> you can climb your mountains all day. But if you don't have a purpose or can't find, having trouble being honest with self, 
and just going with the flow and letting the wheel turn around you, <clears throat> you're going to end up stuck. And from there, you can see the forest. There's a gem down there. It's glowing. There's something in those deep, dark forests, the forest of yourself, that needs attention. It's saying, hey, get your ass back down here and find this. And so now... <clears throat> This person, okay, that looks real fiery and hot in there. Feels like a hell. It feels like, it feels like someone is trapped. Feels like they're, they've done all this climbing on this mountain for, that's not where they belong. That's not where, the, this is the, not, this is the wrong venture, okay? They, they thought that they had to climb this mountain, but first they have to go retrieve whatever this pearl is. So they got to get their ass back down, go through the deep, dense, dark forest that is themselves inside and retrieve that. It's the gym. I'm the man in the box. Okay. And this, okay, here's the seed. That's that pearl. It, this is giving me tree rings, okay? That forest, that deep, dense, dark forest of our, within ourselves. Boom. It's deep down in there. It's in there, deep inside. And in, in order for balance to happen, this person pretty much came to a screeching halt and is being called back into their darkness to retrieve a very important pearl and it's that pearl that he to his happiness this is the one this is this is the pearl finding self look the self that pearl is inside with all the colors your true colors finding self and that's the pearl that he needs to bestow. Look what I did. The shit, who? It's deep inside himself. Look, and look at the same like tree rings right here. That light right there is the pearl. The pearl of the the big the, the biggest pearl of all. Finding self. Look how big that pearl is. Finding self. And so now he's all mad. Okay, and that's what it takes. They can feel bad about shit. They can feel disappointed in themselves all day long and all night long if they want. They have to actually get pissed at themselves in order for anything to change. I think we're here. Look at him. Pissed off. Looking back at that forest going, I've come all the way up the fuck here and it wasn't the right path. This was the wrong, it was the wrong mission. This person took a wrong turn somewhere. I feel like, I feel like they've got led astray. Okay, there's a certain, there's, you got to get through your, your forest before you just charge th towards the mountain. You got to make sure you round up everything that you need before you go into this mountain journey. And that's what I'm picking up here. The finding that, that seed, that seed, that pearl self. I kept the oyster out. The deep dives. The oysters make pearls and it's painful. 
a piece of sand gets up in there and it's like getting sand in your eye. It's painful to the oyster and so it coats it and 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 coats it until it's round and smooth. Pearls come from pain. And that's what we're on them. That's what that's what the deep dives are for. To bring those out of the darkness and into the light and vulnerable and get vulnerable. Get honest. What is your honest truth? Whew. Damn. Okay. So this was the card that jumped out at me, and then all the rest followed because I was looking at this card, and I've been through this deck. And I, you know, I spirit be showing me these cards and send me on hunting missions to put the shit together. Shows me flashes and I know what card to get. And then I started flat shuffling out the tarot. And lo and fucking behold, first three out is the King of Swords, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Queen. There you two are. And there's that ace right there. This shit is popping my brain. <laughs> and then we have the eight of wands to the lovers. There's that positive movement forward. And a lover's connection. It, it, I'm like, <clears throat> okay, I know why this message was so important, but I kind of needed to recharge a little bit before I came here and did this because this is, whew, this is intense. It, and it's, it, it's intense. Oh, it's intense. Mm -hmm. This person has to go on this deep dive and find self and I think they're doing it I think you're about to get a message something positive I want to go ahead and pull out <clears throat> some more animal messages here look at this shit we got octopus on the bottom those the the these will wrap their tentacles around you, right? Keep you stuck on the bottom. But octopus are also cool. Yeah. Ooh, golden egg. Octopus are also very smart, very clever. Okay. Escape artist. Ooh, Houdini. Escape artist. Huh. Huh. I'm telling you. Feel like this person is going to get out of this box that they've kept, that got themselves trapped in, and they're going to come back down the mountain, <laughs> go through the forest, find their seed, find self. Go and they, they've come down out of the mountain. Uh, ooh. Yeah. <laughs> My God. It's one third. Uh, just saw one, three, three, three. I just heard this person. Gee. <laughs> All up in their ego, they thought they was king shit. They just didn't know it was Turd Mountain. <laughs> they got led astray. Escape artist coming. This is like Houdini energy right here. Okay, octopus, you can't keep them trapped nowhere. Uh-uh. They can squeeze themselves out of little tiny holes. Oh, yeah, they can. They can unlock things. Okay, latches and shit. Um, I feel like somebody's coming down out of this box right here. Going into the deep. Oh, shit. Wow. For the golden egg. Look, there's a firefly. Look at this shit. The golden egg, the seed, the pearl of self. He wants to show you, or he's going, going to, deliverance. Still picking up deliverance here. Sacred union. 
I just heard light in the dark. This is a, this, oh, this could be saying that this person, yeah, <laughs> trying to find this. Okay, you know how Firefly, they light up over here real quick and then, and then they light up over there. Okay, <laughs> this person's got a mission. They're going to have to do, pay, pay, you know, pay close attention to themselves. Really look deep. Because when you look, when you're really paying attention, you can see them even when they're not lit up. They're quick, though. You lose track of them until they light up again. And then you capture the magic. Holy shit. Firefly jar. That's reminding me of, hold on a second. I just saw the Ace of Wands from this deck. There's the oyster, the star. There's the Ace of Wands right there. Thank you, spirit. Right here. Boom. Check this shit the fuck out. I love my guides. Capture the magic. A fresh brand new start. Ace of Wands. And look. There's the star. The oyster. The pearl. The beacon. This is beautiful. Oh my God. This shit right here. When this person finally captures the magic, it can get tricky because a firefly, it's they hard to catch. <laughs> they are, they are. But it's purposeful. It will light the way. It will light the way. It's the golden egg, the golden ticket. I want to read this one. <clears throat> Let's see what the golden egg says. I think it's in the very back. Yeah, the golden egg. The subtle essence of the golden egg is nestled deep within the heart center at the fourth chakra. This chakra is called Anahata. It is the home of the self or the soul. Holy shit balls. God damn. Whew. By bringing the mind into this center, I talked about this getting centered. Whew. Okay. By bringing the mind into this center, we discover a portal to the most intimate and luminous space. It is said our inner guide sits there in deep meditation waiting for us. Anahata translates as the unstruck sound. Oh, the unstruck sound. This is a, this is. This is where you find inner peace. Message at the center of the heart. Within the golden egg lives a precious sound. Deep within that sound resides a message. The sound cannot be heard, nor the message discerned, until we retreat from the noise of modern day life. The magical essence of the golden egg. I lost my spot. The magical essence of the golden egg needs warmth, quiet, and time to unfold. No rushing, pushing, or grasping. Find a place of deep and restful ease, perhaps through yoga or meditation. If you do not have yet a meditation practice, make some time for introspection or contemplation. When the mind begins to settle and the breath is calm, Ask the question that weighs heaviest on your heart. 
staying open to any response that you hear. Engaging with the energy of the golden egg is an advanced practice. It requires becoming intimate with our very essence and comfortable with vulnerability. Holy shit, I cannot make this up. Wow. When a feeling of tenderness or gratitude arises from deep within you, know that you are well on your way. Your chest may swell like you are seeing an old friend that's been away for a long, long time. Listen to the message they've been waiting to tell you. Oh my God, that is beautiful. Thank you, Spirit. This is gorgeous. This is all about the self, finding the self, lighting the way, finding the light, bringing the light into the dark, standing in your truth, letting yourself, let, being yourself and being unapologetic as fuck about it. Because you know what? Who gives a shit? It's nobody else's problem. Universe has a vision. Get centered. Climb your mountains, go through your forests, har harvest your pearls, and then climb your mountain again and get to that archway to the Ace of Pentacles. Oh my God. Ace of Pentacles is a seed, okay? This is, this is the seed that has to be brought back to balance this connection. And I feel like I feel like we got somebody out there that's act, that's doing it. I do. I really do. Someone is learning how to capture the magic. I feel like this is their first one. Like I said, they, they finally found it. And I feel like they want to come show you. They, they want to come show you their accomplishments. And I feel like they're with this Houdini here. Okay, this is going to require this person to break free from anything that they feel like has held them back. That includes the people that they love because they're going to, it, it, it comes in like a shock. Once you, <laughs> once you, once spirit gets a hold of you, oh, it's over. It's over. It's over after that. Once you understand how universe works, baby. Okay. Oh my God. I just, whew, whew, whew. I'm going to go ahead and keep the firefly right here with the trust and the ace of wands. And then I'm going to keep my oyster right here with my star and the golden egg. Right here. We got a Houdini right here. That's okay. These these octopus, they they these most of the time stay in the dark at, at the bottom of the sea, right? Well, where's an oyster at? Mm-hmm. Ooh, eight tentacles. I feel like they could be bringing in multiples, like healing a lot of things, okay? Heart, you know, bringing in multiple pearls at a time, but there's one, and it's the self. That's the one that matters when you find self. Boom. Step into the divine masculine energy. This is a masculine here. I feel like the feminine has already been through her journeys. If you're the divine feminine and you're just, you know, flip it, switch it. You could be a feminine. It, okay, this could resonate for anybody. Whew. Okay. I want to go ahead and shuffle out. Look, wolf and eagle. Look at this shit. Whew. Okay. Do we need any more? Spirit, I don't think we need any more. Spirit says no. Spirit wants tarot. Okay. Hmm. Get the tarot out. Get the tarot out. Okay. We're gonna 
get some more of this wild unknown tarot out here. Yeah, we've got four spirit animals out here. I think we are good on that. And the owls. Yes. And I just got to point out the stag picture there. Okay, that came, my daughter got that for her birthday from her father. And this white stag has been coming up a lot. About taking the lead, following intuition. Yes. Guided by the moon. Yeah, chariot. Look at that shit. Jack, the moon. <laughs> Spirit. Okay. Tell me about it. What do we need to know about this king and queen of swords with the ace of pentacles? Three of cups. Happy times. Celebrations. A reconciliation. Ooh. Heard that loud. Reconciliation. Okay. Hmm. We've got the Hermit to the Ten of Cups. Deep introspection about what makes you happy. What what sets your soul on fire? What and oh, I just heard this person is learning how to live by the cup, not by the pentacle. Okay. I get a mixing and blending right here. You guys could be, uh, if when this union takes place, it would be a blending of families. Okay. I just got a mixing and blending there. Okay. Tell me about this eight of wands with the lovers. Son of wands in the reverse. That's the knight. We got the Six of Pentacles. Or, um, yeah, Six of Pentacles. The Devil. Judgment. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yes. This person was unreliable in the past. Knight of Wands reverse. This is impulsive, reckless. No direction. Directionless. I feel like somebody here has been sat down okay it's been coming up there the for being knight of wands in reverse for gaslighting for being toxic we have the judgment card being held accountable to the five of pentacles to the five of cups look at this shit i told you somebody can feel bad and out in the cold and disappointed in themselves all day long what we need is for someone to get fucking pissed at themselves Boom. There's that fire. That fiery hell that they found themselves stuck in. This is crazy. What order were those in? Ah, oh, like that. Okay. Hmm. It... It's going to take someone getting pissed off at themselves to be able to and quit being stubborn and walk back down that mountain and back into the forest to retrieve your pearl, yourself. And I've been picking up on it. I feel like I feel like this person has. They've been they've gotten pissed at themselves. OK. Daughter of Cups. That's the page of Cups. It landed right on top of this mountain card. Hmm. Okay, so I'm seeing her, this reflection of this little swanling. I don't know what they're swanling. <laughs> I have no idea if that's what they're called. Probably not. And the little baby swan, it looks like a reflection, but it's true colors. It's her true colors. True colors. It's about finding you. Ooh. 
look at this. We got the justice at the bottom. And then we have the Daughter of Swords. New information. And look, this shit is right at the center of the spread. This is the heart, the justice, the yin-yang, the, the, the masculine and the feminine. Mirroring. Oh, balancing the scales. There's been new information. Daughter of Swords. Uh, regarding this regarding this un this relationship this union whatever this is this deep soul bond there's going to be a balancing I, okay this is a reset this whole energy is a reset that came up when i kicked my power strip in that reading okay and it reset everything this purpose of this new moon in Libra and Libra season is to balance the scales and look at this shit there's a world right there finding the center the balance those are cats huh okay regardless it's the yin yang Hmm. There's the Ace of Swords, the Sword of Truth. Cutting through the shit. We got the Star. Destiny. Okay, yeah. We've got the Five of Swords here. It landed right up here. This is self-sabotage. It landed like right here on this masculine in the forest. This masculine self-sabotaged his own destiny, his own ten of pentacles. There's the nine of pentacles right there. Oh my God. Self-sabotaged his own destiny we saw the star and now we have the ten of pentacles i'm gonna go ahead and keep the ten of pentacles out okay what else oh shit temperance right at the point at the tip of the spread Whew. and the nine of pentacles is still here with the chariot moon seven of wands knight of cups oh Feels like this person gonna want to come in, but they might. Yeah, you got your, you got your defenses up. Seven of Wands. They're coming in silently here. Kate, remember I said a couple readings back it felt like a sneak attack. Someone's gonna just gonna pop in on you. Okay, this is moving in silence. That's what I'm getting from that. Towards. The Nine of Pentacles. You. But, yeah, we've got, yeah, we've got the Knight coming in towards the Seven of Wands. But, yeah, you're, like, either blocked, got them blocked, or you're going to be like, whoa. <laughs> Wait just a second. This person's moving in silence. I'm telling you. And coming in towards the Nine of Pentacles. Could show up at night. But we got angels guiding this along right here underneath justice. Karmic justice guided by the angels. This is a faded connection. Trust. 
<clears throat> Capture the magic and then let it guide you. Let it guide you through the deep dark to find this pearl. It's your golden egg. It's your firefly. It's your star. It's your self. Finding self. Capturing the magic of the universe. This is fucking gorgeous. I am in love with this reading. What's at the top? Ooh. Queen of Cups. The Mother of Cups. The Queen of Love. She, this is, this is the most love in the deck. Right here. Divine Feminine Energy. Oh, look, there's the world. Okay. I knew I'd see the world. I did. And the reason why is to make to make my point about this. This card doesn't have an actual world inside of it, but the Justice card does. It's all about keeping your world centered and stable while all this is going on around it. Because uh, the way I'm seeing this, Spirit's showing me. This, okay, here's you. There's the light right there. Here's your peace, your protection, okay? Your guard, you're protected. Look. These are all these little blossoms. That's your, those are your angels and your guides. They're protecting you. You are that ball of light. And we've got some shit going on here around. It's okay. So right up, just up, just out under the surface is the serpent energy. And it's always going. And then we got this one. And it's going a different way. This ring. So this ring is going counterclockwise. This ring is going clockwise. Or the other way. Vice versa. Okay. So some's going this way. And some going that way. And so you just. Your job is to just stay centered. Through it all. And sometimes they switch. This one will start going this way. And this one will start going this way. You got to learn how to go with the ebb and flow of life is what this means. And we fought, we've got the world in the justice card. That's a rarity. And it, the reason that I, I needed this in this justice card to really drive it home about my point about this center right here. Keeping your world centered while you do your deep dives. And look, there's that serpent right there. Just under the surface, like right outside, right under your nose, it's lurking everywhere. This serpent energy. It's all around. And then you've got your cult, you've got everything else in your favor around that. You're protected. This is the same image. I love this. I love this. You keep harvesting your pearls and you keep trusting in the universe and letting it guide you. Okay, this person, they're being, they're being called and it's a strong pull and it's about to make them come out of this mountain that they've worked so hard to climb up and all they found was a fiery pit of hell. And now they're sitting there like, well, damn. Looks like I got to get my ass back down there and retrieve myself. And when they do it, they're going to be so damn happy that they're going to come straight to you and be like, look what I did. Deliverance. And then union. It's beautiful. Yeah, I got the three of wands right here stuck to my desk. Expansion, growth, new adventures, new beginnings. I just find it funny because look at this. That looks like a triangle and I got a triangle right here. A pyramid spread. Bong. It's bang on. It's bang on. I'm telling you. Okay. Um, let's see. I 
Is there anything else? Yeah, let's go ahead and grab some from this deck. I want to see what comes out of Mystic Moon hmm, before we go. Today is my daughter's birthday, and so we are about to go out for family dinner for her birthday. She's 14. Okay. Look, a lesson in self-worth and getting out of victim mentality. Victim mentality keeps people bound. Or uh, this could be... Uh, self-limiting beliefs, self-fulfilling prophecies, whatever this is, whatever this mountain is that this person found themselves stuck on and not happy, going, well, damn, I guess that's not, you know, I don't want to be here in this fiery pit of hell right here. Learning, learning about self, finding self, knowing your worth and demanding respect for that, right? If you don't like it, keep it moving. That's what this is about. Okay. Releasing the, the lack mindset that, and self-fulfilling prophecies, self-limiting belief systems, other people that keep you stuck here, worrying about what people think about you. No, there's an understanding here. That looks like light coming down and enlightenment. A refocus. Okay. Let's see. Mystic Moon, what do you want us to see? Spirit, what do we need to see? Yeah. Mm. Boom. This person was in the dark. They were unawakened. Let's see. Tell me about this. They were unawakened when you knew them. Yeah, look at this shit. We got pride and ego. It came out in the reverse. This person... Oh. We have stuck at the bottom. I feel like this person is realizing that it is their own ego that was getting in their way. Because it came out in the reverse. That's like letting the ego down because they realize it was keeping them stuck with that bound that victim mentality and look we have communication with the fall time Ooh, libra season look at this shit we have the bound with the family i'm telling you this something about how this person was raised didn't it doesn't allow for them to be themselves and they're they want to break free. Okay. Houdini. Breaking free. Can't keep a Houdini trapped. No. Mm-mm. I feel like, and then I said this person's moving in silence. I cannot believe that I didn't keep my moon out. Oh, here it is. Right here. Boom. Moving in silence, houdini their way out of a situation. Holy crap. Okay. Whew. And coming straight to the Nine of Pentacles. The pre-empress, the, the feminine, the divine feminine. Okay. What else? Yeah. Soulmate. Look, release. Okay. Look at this shit. Releasing the pride and ego. And finding their self worth. Purge. Look at this shit. I know what I'm feeling. And surrender. Holy crap. Whew. I feel like this person is surrendering to the divine here. That's a child on this card. 
this is releasing childhood shit trauma self-limiting beliefs i just said something about how this person was raised and this person is releasing this shit oh my god this is deep they're realizing that how they were raised and what they were taught kept them asleep kept them sleeping and it was you that came in and collided with this person and look at him. Him like a sinner before the gates of heaven I'll come crawling on back to you. A surrender. You're helping this person release and heal their childhood traumas. That they've carried deep, deep, deep within themselves. Look, we have devotion. This person is devoted to their healing process. They want to heal. I just said they're releasing and healing their inner child. doing a purge this person okay i mentioned in another reading that you might feel this person's pain don't do not disturb this person send them energy they can feel it look look at them look at them open to the signs they're receiving messages from the cosmos from the universe Look at this shit. They are open to receiving the signs. I know this card says free will. Forget about that. Look at the images. Open to receiving the signs. To point them in the right direction. Look at him. He's like, what do you want me to know? Show me. Show me what I need to see. So I can heal. He's devoted. To his healing process because he's finding self and it's fucking beautiful and you're about to hear about it. I said you had the key. You have the key. Yeah, look at this. The key is, look at this color match. The key is to maintain a high vibration and they can feel your vibration. They can. Definitely. Spirit says cut the deck. Holy shit. What's at the top? Ooh, divine timing. I told you. This is it. Look at this shit, okay? Here's your energy. Here's his. And there's divine timing. I just heard tick, tick, boom. Something about to pop off here. Something about to pop off here. Telling you what. This person been, oh, yeah, look at this. All summer long, this person been thinking. Look, what did I say? We have the crossroads to the guide. Okay. What do you want me to know? Show me the way. Which way do I go? Show me the way. And we have an awakening. Oh my God, this is beautiful. This is fucking beautiful. It's gorgeous. Look, breaking free from the cycles that were keeping him stuck. And you, you've done this too. If this is you, okay, flip it, switch it. And we have a communication. You're, you're going to come tell you how they unstuck themselves, how they unfucked themselves from karmic cycles that were keeping them in that victim mentality, self-fulfilling prophecies, things that kept their ego, okay, their ego and pride. They had a, ooh, that sends an ego death. But this person... It's here twice. 
What do you want me to see? What do you want me to know? Show me which way to go. And then you have an awakening. And they're coming to tell you what they did. Look at what I did. Deliverance. Motherfuck. Okay. I'm going to leave this one here. It's intense. I got, okay. And I got to go. I've got stuff I got to do today. I love you guys. I wish you guys the best. Good luck. Peace, love, and light.